your 2714 will come with four aperture pans, which you will want to use for uneven or unstable terrain, especially on terrain that's very soft due to rain or moisture, or soft as in sand. The machine will also come equipped with a harness and tie-down straps for your machine. You will also be getting a hydraulic filter, which will go in your hydraulic tank back here, which you want to replace after the first 50 operating hours. Now this is so that it cleans out any of the debris from the manufacturing process. As far as maintenance go, once every 30 days, you want to grease your machine as well as look over your machine from top to bottom. Almost every single rotation pin on this machine will have a grease fitting on it. When you grease your machine, the most important one to grease is going to be your bearing right here and your worm gear right here. There's going to be four for your worm gear and two for your bearing. When you grease your bearing, you can either use your drive remote and rotate your turret while greasing your bearing or rotate the bearing every 45 degrees while using a hand grease gun and grease each port three to five pumps and then rotate another 45 until a full rotation. The telescope section is as well. You want to put grease or use a dry based lubricant like graphite on the boom only where you have the wear pads, which you will see two in either side of the boom sections, two on the bottom and two on the top. The dry brace lubricants will allow for less sawdust to build up on the boom. Every 250 operating hours, you will want to do an engine oil change, fuel filter change, and hydraulic filter change all at the same time. So that's every 250 operating hours or once every six months, whichever comes first. You also have two high pressure filters, which are located in the middle chassis, which need to be replaced once a year.